Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews and this is a review on the NECA Shaman Predator also known as the Hippie Predator from Predator 2 at the end of the movie a bunch of predators appear and NECA is making action figures on all of them and uh, this guy is one of those figures uh, if you look at the movie he only appears a few seconds and uh, Shaman here Really great action figure by NECA. I'm going to show you the details on it in this review. First thing to notice is this huge staff weapon. You can take the weapon out. It's in two parts. Uh, I would advise being really careful here because the plastic does look brittle. So it looks like you could break it if you're not careful. He has like two predator claw ends here. As you can see. He has some type of bone pieces here attached to a string. Basic stick otherwise. You just got like two detailed grips here. And that's it review wise. But it's a really long weapon as you could see here. It's a little taller than the character in terms of height. And that's the only weapon uh, Shaman has. This figure is a little different in terms of predators. You do not see the side cannon on the shoulder. You don't. You could see here he has uh, indications of a throwing disc. You could see. Uh, you look at the little details here. And NECA did a great job. First thing is look at that face. It's an unmasked look. Uh, you could see the, the hair braids here. It's a nice detail here. And yes, you can move it around. Look at the shoulder pad. Uh, armor detail here. And here, shoulder pad got some armor. You look at the neck area uh, right here. Got like some uh, interpretation pieces and the netting here. The side of the, the belt area, some nice attention to detail. I'm not sure which exact references uh, NECA is using to get such highly detailed uh, source material, but doing a great job at it see the bags here and this is a nice uh, sculpted bag on the side right here that stands out armor piece at the leg uh, this here you can move it a little bit over there kneecaps you can see that and uh, right at the feet here he's not wearing any sandals uh, which is a difference because other predators actually do have like sandals on it that NECA made but this one is barefooted and uh, just a really cool action figure in terms of look and detail and it uses the new uh, articulated body base and uh, let's check out that articulation side to side head and uh, can go up and down range wise so you can get some good poses out of it uses the ball jointed shoulders side to side up and down one point of articulation at the elbow but you can spin it uh, same here the left hand wrist you can spin it and it does go in and out uh, same deal with the right hand you can see this left hand it has a open grip to hold this weapon but the right hand the grip is really really small and it is uh, tough to put this weapon in the hand and if you're not careful I think you might break this piece cause uh, it's really tough to try to put it in the right hand uh, it's much easier in the left hand even though in the movie I think he held it in his right hand so just want to be careful if you try that option uh, waist here 
can go side to side but there is no up and down really so this whole body is stiff right here at the hips it's ball jointed thankfully so you got side to side you got up and down and you just get a nice range of motion and especially when you add in the double knees that this predator has and then the feet have nice side to side and up and down motion so you can get some really good predator type uh, poses on the lower body overall hippie predator he is a good action figure NECA did a good job interpreting the character if you're building the Lost Tribe, then you need this action figure. So that's the review. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later.